Well, some big corporations like Coca-Cola, Intel, and Airbnb are facing backlash over their backing of the 2022 Winter Olympics in Beijing as China is facing heat over human rights abuses. Fox Business's Ashley Webster has details on this story. Hi, Ash. Hey there, David. Listen, the Beijing Winter Olympics could provide some major pitfalls for U.S. Olympic sponsors who have remained mostly quiet about China's human rights record, including the abuse of Uyghur Muslims and the suppression of pro-democracy protests in Hong Kong. The Biden administration, along with other countries such as Japan, Canada, Australia, the U.K. and New Zealand, have joined a diplomatic boycott that bars senior officials from attending the Games. Critics call that a a toothless response. But corporate giants like Procter & Gamble, Coca-Cola, Intel, Visa and Airbnb, to name just a few, are gambling basically that Americans won't care and their brands will suffer no reputational damage. But human rights groups accuse those Olympic sponsors of prioritizing profits and access to the Chinese market over principles. Take a listen. These companies are in the spotlight in exactly the way they didn't want to be. Uh, but they've really got nobody to blame for that but themselves. You know, they, they, they bought into this exercise. They didn't have to. Uh, and they don't appear to have done the homework that is now considered their responsibility. Well, critics also accuse corporate America of hypocrisy by preaching social justice at home while bowing to the Chinese Communist Party to protect their bottom line. We did reach out to nearly a dozen corporate Olympic sponsors for a response, but so far, just silence. The IOC president, Thomas Bach, has also declined to speak out on human rights abuses in China, saying in part, quote, we have our full focus on the athletes. We welcome that they can participate, that they are supported by their national governments. The rest is politics. And it is the politics of China that is generating growing dissension and calls for a boycott, even as U.S. athletes are being told to use burner phones during the games for fear of Chinese hacking. But sponsors apparently are only interested in the really big prize, the Chinese consumer. David. Yeah, one and a half billion of them. Thank you very much, 